I suppose one of you young cats could use some tips on emotional intelligence. That way you don't uh, react so quickly to somebody else's action. I hope I'm saying that right. Somebody do something to you and the first thing you do is whatever comes to your mind. You know those little uh, exercises they used to give in elementary school when they say, hey, um, I'm going to say a word and you tell me the first thing come to your mind. And then you, and then they'll say, apple. And then somebody will say, tree. Those are emotional responses, I think. Right? Um, whatever tickles your fancy, you respond to, I suppose. But I start thinking of maybe if I could give a tip or a tool to a cat to take a beat before he does, you know, somebody says something on live, first thing he does is trim out the door with the thing. Or you're on the phone calling somebody to go with him and throw their light down the drain too. Hey, this fool, you heard what he said? Man, grab them straps. <laughs> no, hold on. I know this is serious. I'm just going to drop the tip and then be done with it because I think I'm... There's a... There's a cow on a farm next door to a mall. In this mall also is a pharmacy. It's the only pharmacy in town. You need to get to the mall. Okay, you need medication. So you're racing. Maybe an asthma pump. You can't breathe. I'm building urgency. I'm trying to show you that everything is chaotic. Everything is a hurry. And then I'm going to show you how you can deal with all of that chaos. I'm just pulling it out of my, you know what I'm saying, out of the air, so y'all bear with me. You're racing through this parking lot. There's only one parking space. But this cow, every day, at this time of day, is the hottest ever. So this cow wanders off of that property and comes and sit in that parking space, the only parking space that's available. Because that's the only spot where there's some shade. But you in a hurry. So you're racing for that one parking spot. Somebody else is backing out. You thinking, okay, well, I'm going to get that one. You don't see the cow. Because it's halfway up, right? I'm going to get that one. And then somebody else goes, all squirts in there. You mad? Because you in a hurry. As if they know you in a hurry. They may be in a hurry. They may have an emergency too. But the world is chaotic, okay? So there's a lot going on. But you trying to get to that parking spot, and then right when you think you got it, you're going to turn in, you see a cow sitting there. You honking your horn. You roll down here with you yelling at this cow. And it looks like this is the only shade, and I ain't moving. What are you going to do? How mad can you really be? The cow is not intentionally doing this. It's just a cow looking for some shade. It's doing what a cow would want to do. Whatever it wants to do. Even sit in a parking spot and not be bothered by horns. Or yelling people. It doesn't budge. What would you do? Would you shoot this cow up? Would you call your people and be like, man, this fucking cow? No, you're going to back out. And you're going to find something else. And then run. You might park up the street and then run into this mall or pharmacy to get your asthma pump or whatever. But you ain't finna feel like it's the end of the world and you need to do something and turn this cow into burgers. You don't. Do you understand what I'm saying? So all of that, I said that to say this. 
Let me summarize it into a take two of these and call me tomorrow kind of thing. The next time you see somebody just being who it is they are, either a loud mouth, either a show off, either a whatever they doing online. See them as the cow that don't know no just doing them, whatever makes them feel at ease. How can you be mad at that? See him as the cow. Take a beat and then just go somewhere else with your bullshit. Let it ride until it, you know. Now it's different if the cow is biting, attacking, coming at you, hitting your car, kicking your car. That that cow just can't deal with what a cow does, whatever the fuck it wants to do. Somebody else might be online doing whatever the fuck it is they want to do. But you grew up with sticks and stones to break your bones, but names will never hurt you in words or something like that, right? So somebody saying something online, saying something and doing something is two different things. You feel me? You can say something too, or you can just completely ignore it. And if you think that you have access to pull up on somebody, then you got con- then you got contact info where you can just be like, man, what is he really? And then go and put him on live. Man, what is it really though? We right here. What is it really? You know what I'm saying? And then bring it back down to a human level. Somebody want to see you about something? Man, we men. Mm. Fun stuff, man. Y'all going to end up closer afterwards, man. That's what people didn't tell y'all back in the days. Nobody asked the time, man. We could old school scrape. We might find out that we got a lot in common. You feel me? I'm going to spank you. You're going to respect me after. I don't know. I don't even know if people still do that anymore. I don't know. Maybe y'all need to bring that back. But I just wanted to share that with y'all, man. Just think about the cow sitting in that parking spot that you need. Try that. Everything don't have to be murder, death, kill. Please. Those are permanent solutions to temporary issues that y'all could have solved with a rational discussion. Love your life more than enough too to be trading it off because you need to get somebody off of the globe that you you mess up, um, have a disagreement with her. Don't agree with her. Those are my thoughts.